folks, it's Brian. It's time for my Jeep build video number 81 on my Jeep TJ build from a salvage Copart Jeep. I think we're going to actually get it to the point where it might run. Wow, that's exciting. So, without further ado, let me um, oh, bend down here and grab this damn cable. Uh, my back is sore, probably from me handling batteries the other day. So, I've been waiting for this box. It showed up a little faster than I thought it would. It uh, shipped from Connecticut on uh, Friday. And I thought, man, there's no way in hell it's going to get here on Sunday. But here it is, FedEx delivered. Uh, they said 10 to 2, and it showed up a little later than that. But it's all good. Uh, let's see what we got here. Air pillows! Woo! Just what my team needed. No. No, I, um... Oh, I got a sticker. Yeah, it's going to go where all the other stickers go. Right there for now. And packing paper! Woo! Something else my Jeep really needed. Now, you guys know that's not really why I was waiting. I screwed up and ordered the wrong power steering hoses last time. So they better be the right ones this time because I've already got two that I can't return. Um, somehow I ordered 2002 power steering hoses and guess what? They're different. So these are for 2005 and they better fucking fit. And the whole exercise here was that yeah, I have it apart. I should probably change the power steering hoses while I have it apart because it's a lot easier to do it with them out than with them in. So, it would have been easier to do this the other day, but I wanted to get some stuff done while I was waiting, so I put this panel back on. Uh, I don't know exactly how I'm going to get that off. But I do think that one needs to be dealt with first. So, let me get some cutters and we'll get busy. So, there's nothing inherently wrong with uh, this cable. Or, I'm sorry. There's no, nothing inherently wrong with this, uh, this um, line. But I want to replace it while I'm in here because... It's just a whole lot easier to do before I have the Jeep back together because it's going to be harder to work on later. Um, Looks like it's just going to pull off. So I'm trying to just undo the crimp. My first choice would have been to just cut it. But it's one of these things that I just can't really seem to get anything in there to cut with. Let's try with the slow cutters. I don't think these are going to be strong enough. But we'll try. This is called an Oedeker clamp. Nope, that won't break those. Oedeker clamp is used very commonly in PEX uh, plumbing. And it's not a super strong clamp. I just can't get to this one because now it's boxed in by um, stuff. Now, I happen to have some plumbing tools. I'm gonna see if I can get in here with these because these are the right. 
can't get to this device. Alright, so. This should shear this uh, clamp. There it goes. That's all I really wanted to do anyway was get remove it. There's a little tiny o-ring that goes right here and the best thing to do with this is to lubricate it and the oil for this is just power steering fluid so we've applied that we have applied that now we're ready to go we just need a clamp for this so any old Chinese clamp will do. That one looks fine. So let's put, I'm gonna change the gloves and put it back together. All right, so we're ready to slide back up in here. Okay, so I've got the other side where it needs to be. This side looks good. Uh, but we're not done quite yet. to get into. There we go. It's that part's in. Let's deal with the other side. Okay, so these are three quarter inch. Uh, the 17 millimeter wrench doesn't fit. I don't, I don't think this three quarter fits properly, personally. But we're going to use it to get it most of the way there. Three-quarter and 17 were interchangeable. Let me double-check this. So I got an 18 here. Oh, it's exactly 18. steering hose is got a very specific torque setting it's called tight enough and I'm pretty sure it's tight enough uh, I couldn't find anything in the steering section it mentions the hoses by name but doesn't give a setting for the torque so fuck it it got tightened to what I think is appropriate and that's where it'll be To be fair, I probably could have run the other hoses, but I just think that um, the new hoses are less likely to be a problem. I'm using quality Gates hoses. If there had been another option, I still would have sprung for the Gates hoses because they're just not that expensive. Like the other one, there are some little O-rings, so I'm going to go ahead and put these in. You guys have seen how one O-ring goes in. They'll go right here, and I'll be right back. Okay, 
right, so pretty sure. So that's those are both the little washers are on there. And now we got to snake this out through here. And this would be a pain in the ass if the uh, radiator was in. And that's why we're doing this before. if there was a grill in my way this would be that much harder to work on and that's why I wanted to do this with the grill out because I just figured it'd be that much easier slightly 
because I wanted it away from this other hose. So I'm gonna do it again. There. There's steel lines, little adjustments, not gonna hurt them. And uh, that's, that's gonna get them where I want them. This one's snug against that, that's okay. Uh, this one is up out of the way, away from this. Um, so let's go back up top. And this is clearly a different, that's like a 17 or a 16. Let's see if a 17 does this. It does, but... right here and that's actually what's causing my fit issues so let's see if we can adjust our way out of this I don't understand why this one is being so persnickety. I got a 16 millimeter wrench because I don't think it needs to be that big. Oh, I gotta find one first. Well, I'll 
I'll stick with the 17 because I can't find the 16. We have fucked up this power steering pump. I think that's exactly what just happened. Possibly the hose to go with it too. size this is. I'll be right back. So I'm using the old uh, hose to just chase this and make sure there's nothing wrong with it. These threads are trashed. So our options are either um, put the old one back in uh, or order another one or go get another one. Let me pause for a second and go check my options. So I'm going to see if I can fix these threads. I gotta be able to see them first. So let's just wiggle this out where we can get to it. There aren't any more gates hoses. And it's right here. a die big enough for this so it's either this is going to get fixed we'll see I, I don't have high hopes for this 
I have a hunch that the old uh, line is going to go back in. But we'll see. No, it's it's uh, messing up already. Nope, that is not happening. So let me get the uh, let, let me. Kept the other one. Locally, um, AutoZone was competitive, um, but I don't really want to put a Duralast hose in a critical location, which would be on my vehicle. Uh, Advanced Auto didn't didn't have uh, the right picture displayed after their website leads you through a whole bunch of fucking annoying pop-ups. And then O'Reilly wanted $109 for it, but didn't have it in stock. I don't see how they stay in business. Um... choices are an old Mopar hose or an Edelman and a two-day delay waiting on Amazon or Rock Auto to deliver it. And they're within a dollar of one another, so it would be, that would be uh, Amazon because Rock Auto charges shipping and Amazon doesn't. That fucking sucks that I jacked up the threads on that. This is actually what's being protected, not uh, the side. So this this actually looks correct. And I think I could have fixed that hose if I'd had a tap that was the right size, but I don't I don't have any taps this big. Seen it. This is just getting old. There's nothing actually wrong with it. 
Um, it's just rubber gets old, it gets brittle. All right, so it's that time where we get to add fluid. Whee! And it is ATF 4 that is required. So I gotta get a funnel. There ain't no way I can do this freehand. How the fuck do they expect anybody to get this stuff in here? expect that to um, drop down a little bit. Pumps full of air, the lines are full of air. I expect it to, to drop down. See, it's it's already dropping down a little bit. So let's see where we are on the actual dipstick. Yeah, close enough. I'm gonna leave it alone until we get it running. All right. Okay, so now for the sketchy part. This is not going to line up properly if I attach it to the radiator, so I'm going to just set it in here, knowing that it needs to be dealt with, and I'm going to get the radiator in, and then I'm going to bring it back, and I'll realign these holes, probably by drilling this. Let me get that bolt. Wow, it's beginning to look a lot like a Jeep. Huh. the one I was looking for. Front hold down bolt. Yes, thank you. I think that's a great idea. So I'm trying to figure out what size uh, socket this requires, and the answer is 5 eighths. Yeah, 
I see absolutely nothing here. So let me add some light. I do anticipate some alignment issues. Part of the issue is I've got a, a cooling hose trapped in there, so let's get that out. I got another pipe there, there. And I got a radiator hose in the wrong spot, so let me move that. I'm uh, squabbling with a transmission cooler hose. It needs to come down here. We can install the radiator hose and get it out of the way. It's a complicated environment down here. A little bit of everything, and everything wants attention. So. So let's start working on uh, bolts that go on the sides. Uh, 
first let's pull this vent tube out of the way. It can just hang down. So, one of these goes. Oops. That's the power cord. Let's see. I think. That's the right side. And then here is a fistful of bolts. These are all essentially identical. So I'm going to start with this side because this is going to be the side that's the hardest. And then this is going to be 13 millimeter, if I remember correctly, so I'm going to get a ratchet set up for this. Now I'm going to do the three on this side. Actually, I'm going to leave three for the back, and three for the front, and two for the back. I'm short one of these bolts. Alright, so. This is very difficult to do with uh, a light shining in my face. As you get older, your ability to see past bright lights goes down. I think that's sad. <laughs> No, of course not. There's no way. Mm -hmm. 
So, I, I, I'm having trouble with the alignment. So one of the things you can do is use a uh, screwdriver. So that's kind of been brought together at this point. Seems like an excessive amount of torque. So we've got the ones in the back, so we'll go ahead and do these. I've got one more bolt that I have no idea where it's at. right underneath something else.
tired of fighting with this. I'm going to go power on this. And in case you're wondering why I'm sweating, it's 100 and fuck that outside. We just broke a bolt. That was wonderful. Oh wow. Well, I guess we didn't need that one. Well, we'll deal with the broken bolt later. Um. All right, so uh, these are M8 one quarter. Um. degrees in here and I can't find there it's a flashlight and a stool
rest of this is trash and recycle. see if we can get this in here. It's one of my favorites, an M820, M8 one and a quarter by 20 uh, metric cap screw. Uh, looks pretty good. Let me find a socket for it. And I'm going to turn the wheel so I can get in here. Now, first I got to unlock the key. got these too tight.
scratched and I think that creates the clearance we need. I'm going to lock thread lock on this because I definitely don't want this rattling out. see through my glasses and when I lean back I can't I'm too far god damn it So I think I have too much pressure on this.
So we're somewhere in between that. That was two clicks. So let's take it back a click. adjustment here. Let's see if that'll get us in.
Okay, so let's get this strap out of here. is this one socket cap screw up here, which is kind of lonely. further. So I'm going to do this one down here next. sensor that needs to go back up here and we've got a clamp and a couple clamps
wants to do everything except that. just temporarily securing the wires while I wait for some parts to come in. these constant force <clears throat> spring clips in here that actually came from these locations so they're gonna go back to this location <clears throat> all right so that's good right there now where did this go up here somewhere though. We'll leave it hang for a minute. with these spring clamps, the less I like them. <laughs> All right, so at least it's facing where I can get to it now. That's where that goes. Whew. All right, so next we need to supply coolant to that. So let's, let's just push that out of the way. 
and we need a short piece of hose. So let me get that. So, no, nope, that's not long enough. Okay, so that's on. And again, these aren't under a tremendous amount of pressure, so... Pretty sure that'll work. So we're having some challenges here. I'm going to put some oil on this.
that's good enough. I, I would prefer this didn't hang down, but I don't know what else I could do with it. And I think it's clear of this, so it'll be okay. I wanna get this out of my face next, so it goes up here. So let's go deal with that. Okay, so this secures to that, basically to the nut that the uh, radiator mounts to, and that is a 10 millimeter, if I remember correctly, just got to find it.
Okay, so... Try and get this positioned. Um, I think these will work. They will. Okay, so we're basically in position. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and attach the are in the wrong spot. So those are in. That still spins. So let's get busy with heavy modification. Turn the wheel back straight and get myself better. That 
should be enough. It should cut its own threads at that point. So let's just figure out why we can't. threads but it destroyed the scrap so we're going to replace this with a bolt probably with a screw sixes that will fit nicely in this hole and I'm gonna back it up with a lock washer it's gonna be a little dicey to get my fingers in here washer now that my hands are engaging so I have to put them in here like this and then retract one of my fingers These are 10 millimeter um, heads. loosen it and see what's going on.
It's gonna grind away a little bit, probably. Uh, I don't like that. Let's see if I can fix it on this side. So if I make the hole in the plastic a little bigger, that'll give me a little wiggle room. hand here. drill in this hole it's pissing me off
some fan blades that are not quite the same length. easier. fucking got it.
Okay, it's done. Pain in the ass. All right, so now we get to deal with these. And as always, oil your fittings. Now, these don't have studs, so let me go figure out why, how to get the studs off the old one. So I gotta sit here and slowly get these out. Seems like perfect fit would include the stupid fucking studs. Let me see if there's a socket for this. So there is a socket for this. It's an E8. I mean, like, I can't see anything, I can't reach anything. What a pain in the ass. Redlock to it because I just don't trust it. Can't imagine why they would be different fucking thread pitches for studs. They saved a lot of money on this because this is a giant pain in the fucking ass. Wow, what a clusterfuck. Like whoever put the air conditioning in this vehicle decided that you would never want to work on it. Even though it's one of the most common things to fail because it works really hard compared to many of the other components in the vehicle.
always oil your O-rings. pain in the ass. No, it has to be the lower one. That's the only one that's locked right. I don't see why it would matter. There it goes. Wow, what a pain in the ass. It is a 13 millimeter socket. Should have about 12 of those lighting out by now. Uh, everywhere except where I need one. I think there was supposed to be a little fucking metal thing in there too. Damn it. Oh, motherfucker.
Well, unfortunately, the lower one has to come off to put a fucking crimp plate in. It should need one of these. This is the high pressure side of the system, so I'm just having hell with the fit here. Unfortunately, this destroys the O-ring. I don't trust it after that. So let's see if this is going to fit in here or not. Yes, it does. So let me go get another O-ring. Yeah, that's exactly right. this. I'm going to do this from under here.
stupid design I mean really crappy ass access I don't know who designed this but they're an idiot because they've never had to fucking work on it it would not have been that much more difficult to have relocated this up here where it was accessible all right so let's deal with the back So we definitely have an O-ring here. Yeah, be careful not to scratch the housing when you do that. All right, so let me find this and this. So, lube that up. Snap that back in. Don't have an extra one of those. Um, so, we're just going to make this shit work. Oh my fucking god, what the hell? This shit's all popping.
take a fucking hammer to this. came from Rock Auto, which I'm beginning to think maybe should be called Croc Auto, as in Croc of shit, because the shit doesn't fit. There we go. You've got to be fucking kidding me. It doesn't fit. I mean, like, that just doesn't fit. That ain't gonna fit either. Let me see what the hell's wrong. I'll be right back. That's irritating. So here's the old one. Let's see if it fits. It doesn't. It's a fucking problem with the part. Not it's the hose, not the fucking condenser assembly. That's fucking irritating. So the old hose, and we'll just pop this in here for a second. It fits just fine. So that is absolutely a problem with the hose, not the uh, condenser. So it's another UAC piece of shit, and I will be making Rock Auto take that back, and we'll put the old hose back in. All right, well, let's deal with the hose right now. said this was a 5 sixteenths. Uh, well, that's a quarter, so yep, that's not four.
fails the most, where no one can get to it. That sounds like fun. All right, that's not gonna work either. We need a shallow 13. God damn it. Fuck you, AC. Never buy another one of their piece of shit products again. down in here to work on this shit. I mean, how in the hell would anybody change an air conditioning compressor without taking the damn vehicle apart? Oh, this is pissing me off. I can't figure out how to get my fingers in here. I can see it. This can be a pain in the ass in the other direction. Fucking piece of shit. That is very, very fucking maddening. All right, let's change uh, gaskets. I'll be right back. Okay. this back in here, say some cuss words, motherfuckers, son of a bitch, bastard, fucking croc auto. Yeah. damn cuss words. Motherfucker, how does this fit in here? Not well, that's how. Motherfucker, where'd that go? I don't even see it.
still got to try and find that bolt. Had to have gone up underneath the engine. So let me go under here and hunt. seal this off because the longer this stays open the worse it gets where the fuck did the clamp for this piece of shit go i'm not in a good mood right now this is very very irritating and frustrating and i can't find the fucking clamp So this is also a 5 16 Okay, so.
care of this one first. With those pliers we won't. These are a little big, but they will do it. fucking side. No idea. It's a 13 millimeter bolt. I found another one. It fits. I'm going to torque it down. It's going to be tight enough. Not getting a torque wrench in here among all this other horse shit that's going on. Let me stop and pick up some shit before I lose my temper again. When I was in middle school, I had a teacher named Mr. Larson, and Mr. Larson used to say, where were we before we were so rudely interrupted? And that's kind of how I feel about this horse shit that I'm having to deal with with that air conditioner. I should not have the problems I'm having with that. So, what we need to do next is mount this top piece and we might actually be able to get a bolt in there without anything so let me make sure we're still clear we are let's see if we can get a bolt in here almost so we're going to redrill it M6120. So, flat washer, lock washer to lock against, and a nut. And then we're going to see if 
be still clear. Now. Now. So, what that means is this has got to come apart and we've actually got to drill it. The problem is we're, we're like right on the edge. So it has a tendency to not, not want to drill through where I want it to. So now we've got a second location. It's much closer, but it doesn't matter. It's there's not a lot of force here and it'll all work okay. Touching. Okay, good. So now we just gotta secure the bottom and we'll be done with that relocation of that bracket. All right. All right. Let's see what we can do. Sure could use shorter drills.
that's going to be a pain in the ass. Let me see if I can shortcut that with a bolt. and put a bolt in there. It's supposed to be secured with a bolt, so maybe a bolt will work. Hell, I can't see a damn thing. As usual. absolutely have to be done from up here. There's just no way. about this some of these had actually had three bolts this one doesn't and won't
did I set that wrench? Huh? On the floor. I left it. Mm -hmm. spot. still clear. Awesome. So we are beginning to feel like we could make progress here. All right, so this goes up here. leaving absolutely no room. All right. It's time to add coolant. Amazing. Taking me forever to get to this point. Well, that's kind of nasty on the inside. Okay, so I don't remember the exact amount of coolant that this thing takes. Let's read. So somewhere between 50 and 75% is good enough.
Should not be having that happen. Should not be dripping. Oh, that's irritating. There ain't no way. that it only needed a gallon coolant. Absolutely no way. It's going to need some in here anyway, so let's start there and we'll put some in here. Okay, so I've added, uh, it, it's topped off with coolant, which doesn't make any sense. So we're going to go ahead and install the battery. Now, my group 34 is dead, so I'm going to try and make this group 24 work. And I think it will. I have uh, every expectation that it will require replacing the battery in the near future, so I'm not going to spend the time I would normally spend on dressing the battery and all that jazz. My goal at this point is to get the Jeep running. Once the Jeep is running, I can spend money on things like a nice battery. Um, for the moment, it quite literally doesn't matter. Don't want to hear anything. This is essentially an untrusted vehicle right now. I, I don't know what it will or won't do. The airbags might go off. Um, so I just, I don't trust it. Well, at least the turn signal works, or at least one of them does. The rear flashers work, the front ones don't more shit that has to be dealt with. Those are the wrong size. Should be a 3 8 That's what I'm expecting to find over here. Nope. Oh, 
let's let's try eleven millimeter. Yeah, that makes zero sense. Nope, not that either. Be a seven sixteenths, although that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Nope. Looks like it's a crescent wrench. what the voltage of the battery is. So that's going to tell me whether I think it has a chance in hell of starting this vehicle or not. It was charged last night. Twelve and a half volts. It might actually be an okay battery. It also might be really weak. So we'll find out. needs this installed. So it should be a five sixteenths. It is. bit difficult because it's uh, further away than it used to be. Might need to adjust it on the other side. hasn't budged. Oh. All right. It hasn't run in 18 months. I flushed the gas. I put new gas in it. Let's find out if it fucking runs. This is going to get real exciting. Or real exciting in a bad way. garage door and first I want to move my truck out from behind it because I don't trust it all right so we fired it back up wall pressure looks good with a new oil pump voltage is good I don't trust this thing I don't trust it any further than I can throw it oh it's fat cooling everywhere that was lovely I guess I should have put the cover on it Let's try that again. Oh, how lovely. Nice to hear from you too. I know you're not even nearly fucking full. We'll deal with that later. Uh 
don't trust that cap any further than I can throw it. Anyway, eh, that's a nice mess. Where's the towel? Let's see if it moves. small issues to iron. We should need some water. Uh, we're smoking antifreeze right now because we sprayed antifreeze all over the place. Start back up. 